Jordan, I know you don't have anything to compare last year at Virginia Tech to, but just your your last year, 2020, to this year, how much different does it feel? How much better does it feel to be out there after a full off season? I mean, you know, just being in Lane, you know, Lane's loud and fans are back. And I played here last year with Clemson when uh, Lane was pretty much empty, but Lane's definitely a loud place. It's uh, probably a tough place for opponents to come in and play, play at. Concern with kind of Justin being able to install the entire defense this year. Do you guys feel more confident going out there, game in and game out, knowing that you have a full defense and a full complement of players? You know, absolutely. Uh, just how we prepare each week. You know, we go out there and basically we just got to go out there and execute what we executed all week in practice. So there's definitely that confidence out there. We know what we got to do. Now we just got to go out there and get it done. Jordan, you guys got that big lead, and then they get within 14-7 at halftime. I'm curious what the mood was like at halftime. What's the message uh, of the team at, at halftime? Um, we just knew we had to pick it up. You know, we needed more juice. We had to keep going, and we had to uh, bring that energy. And defensively, we wanted to be the ones that set the tone coming out the half. We, uh, we started off with striking and had the first possession of defense, so we definitely wanted to set the tone coming out of half. Jordan, you and, and Josh and, you know, Mario and you guys and Norrell, you guys have so much talent up there. How does rotating guys, you know, keep you guys fresh? And, you know, how is that an advantage, you know, when you're playing tough defenses or tough offenses? Like you said, it keeps us fresh. You know, offensive lines aren't rotating like like, a de like our defensive line is. So we're fresh going against the guys who've been in for five and six to eight play drives. You know what I'm saying? So we're just keeping fresh guys in there. So production is bound to happen. You guys stopped the run only, you know, allowed less than 70 rushing yards today. How important was that in the game plan coming into the game? Uh, it's definitely important. We always want to stop out the run so we can get the, uh, earn the right to pass rush. And, and ultimately, that's what everybody, all de defensive linemen want to do. We want to get after the quarterback. So it's a big part of stopping the run early and then being able to get after the quarterback. You seem to be a little more disruptive today than, than you were in week one. Did you feel like you needed to make a few more plays or, or want to make a few more plays? I mean, what was kind of the mindset going into this one? And did you feel like uh, you're playing better or, or being more aggressive up front? Um, I don't really go out and look to go out and make plays. I just go out and do my job and, and let the play fall in my lap. You know what I mean? And, and fortunately, that's what happened today. So just going out there looking to do my job eat week in and week out and have guys trust me and count on me and depend on me. So if, if it happens that I have some stats behind it, then, then we're all winning. Jordan, as a guy who played at Clemson, I'm sure you heard a million speeches about how to not overlook opponents. <laughs> you were always you know, heavily favored to win a lot of those games. How did this week compare in terms of preparation, in terms of what the coaches' message were and you know the older players' messages to the younger guys? Um, the message was not to overlook opponents. Like, like you just said, uh, we went out there and prepared like we did last week for UNC. It's just we had less time to prepare for Middle Tennessee than we did for UNC. We had a whole offseason to prepare for UNC. But I mean, really just keep the same thing each week. No matter who we play that week, it's, we're playing against each other. And ultimately, we're our own opponents. So we just go out there each week, prepare, execute everything and, and be able to go out there and execute on Saturdays. Um, it's definitely easier to do earlier in the season, but ultimately you want to do it throughout the whole season. You, you have to know that basically each week, week in and week out, you can't take any opponent lightly because guys are getting better. Other teams are getting better. We're all practicing. Everybody's fixing things, making adjustments and stuff like that. So you just want to keep going in each week of practice and, and just looking to improve. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate it.